Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see I'm not in my usual filming place with my background. That's because I wanted to do a more like a chill video today. A little bit more of a laid back kind of video. So that's why I'm sitting in my sofa. So I'm going to Spain next week and I have to pack obviously. And I thought why not? pack with you guys so that way you can see what things i pack with me when i travel i'm pre-recording a couple of videos so that there will be videos while i'm away this video is gonna go up when i'll be already in spain so when you watch this i won't be here i also filmed a tutorial in this look right here and that's gonna probably be up after this video so let's start. when i travel i usually take bags like this like two or three of them i haven't found a way of uh, packing my makeup which i really like yet and I'm trying to find a bag that's a little bit bigger than this one so that it can fit everything and I don't have to take two or three different ones so I'm gonna try to kind of show things in order but I have quite a few stuff here so so for primer I'm taking the Becca liquid shimmering skin perfector because I'll probably want to use a glowing primer so this one does the job quite well it's not too much it's not glittery it's very nice so that's why I'm gonna be having this underneath any foundation or just like you probably have seen in the my everyday go-to summer look I can use this one without foundation and it makes the skin looks quite nice um now for foundation I'm gonna be taking two because I want more one that is a little bit lighter and a one that is a little bit darker I do self tan so the one foundation is gonna be my self tan shade and the other one is gonna be a little bit lighter in case of my tan goes away the first one is gonna be the bourgeois healthy mix zero foundation and this one doesn't match me right now because it's the lighter one it's in the shade light beige and the other one is gonna i'm gonna take the makeup revolution fast face stick foundation in the shade f8 because this one is very easy to use and you just tap it in your face and blend it and you're good to go and i'm gonna also be taking the revolution one in the shade f14 just because i cream contour with this one and it's very easy and fast i have that covered now and for concealer i'm gonna be taking also two one lighter and one darker the one is the maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 10 and the tart shape tape in the shade light medium so i have a lighter coverage and a full coverage i have choices we need choices okay i'm gonna talk about uh, setting powder i'm only taking one compact one because i'm not gonna be bothering to take a loose powder with me this one is much easier and much faster and it's more compact so it's perfect and this one is a wet and wild uh, it's gone the wet and wild photo focus press powder okay next for bronzer i'm gonna be taking also two <laughs> because the first one is the gimme sun this is a perfect bronzer for summer for me at least it's perfect <laughs> and the other one it's gonna be the hula because this one is also very good and i use it to contour my nose so i need both of them it's a little bit extra but trust me i used to take much more makeup than this so i'm trying to keep it down a little bit now for highlighter i <laughs> i'm gonna be taking two actually four but it counts as two the first one is gonna be the makeup geek x Catalina light highlighter palette because it has my favorite highlighter shade right here it's the perfect gold highlighter i absolutely love it so i am not gonna be using those two but i have to take this one i mean it's very slim so it's not gonna be taking too much space i guess and the other one is the iconic london illuminating drops in the shade original because in the days that i don't want to put any powder on my face i can just put this one and i'm good to go okay next oh i forgot i have one more highlighter i have a stick highlighter this is the maybelline master strobing stick because i use it in my no foundation look there i go i just put in the top of my cheekbones and yeah i just i just have to don't ask me why i just have to okay so it is actually for highlighting products so yes i it's, you know it's all about the highlight summer is all about the glow and the highlight okay so don't judge me please okay now for the cheeks i'm gonna be taking this small z palette which i have two blushes in it and they're both from makeup geek the um, first one is 
main squeeze and the other one is rendezvous i'm taking two because this one is a very nice bitchy uh, coral shade which is um, very nice for the summer and the other one it's a little bit darker if i want to put the focus on my cheeks i can just go in with this one and they look a little bit more um, rosy and nice i don't know i think um, this blush is very nice and it gives you a very nice look i think i'm gonna go with the eyes now and i'm gonna be taking again <laughs> two eyeshadow palettes i've traveled with more than that trust me they're actually both very small and compact so the first one is the huda beauty coral obsession palette which is super small like look at this look how small this is this is super small and looks like this comes with the mirror which is awesome it has very nice summery shades yellow brown a couple of shimmering shades and it's very very nice and the other one i'm gonna be taking the dream street palette from colourpop because besides the fact that it has very nice shades in it i can go in with some blues if i want to and the reason why i'm taking this one is because it has this uh, dark brown and this palette right here doesn't have a very dark brown and i think i have to have a dark brown so that's why i'm taking those two and they really don't take that much space so and also i'm gonna be taking a couple of ColourPop eyeshadows one is in the shade millionaire and one is in the shade amaze if i don't want to use any eyeshadow from those eyeshadows i can just put this all over my lid and it looks amazing and very easy and very fast so i'm taking two colors so that's it for eyeshadows. I don't have more eyeshadows, I promise. Okay, I'm gonna be taking three eyeliners with me and one of them is um, a brown one. It's the Inglo gel liner in the shade 89 and one black eyeliner. This one is a NYX Epic Ink Liner uh, and this one is a fun one. It's a, it's a very nice green eyeliner. It's by the way the Linda Halberg Flash Crayon in Avoir. Avoir. And I'm gonna be taking one pair of lashes because, you know, if you want to be a little bit extra for a night out or something and i'm gonna be taking the iconic london uh what no the house of lashes are iconic and of course i need lash glue and what else uh, now for the brows i'm gonna be taking the benefit cup brow it's what i use all the time for my brows and it's in the shade number three and of course i am also gonna be taking the la girl shady slim brow pencil because it's nice to have a brow pencil for like a very fast application but i forgot to bring it here and of course i'm gonna be needing a an eyebrow gel and of course i'm gonna be taking my favorite the brow gel gel and i do a line you can use it in so many ways i find it necessary to bring it with me so it's coming with me now for lips i have quite a few products uh, i'm gonna be taking two lip pencils uh, one red and one nude the red one is by MAC, it's the um, Lasting Sensation and the other one is from Kiko, it's in the shade 504, it's a very nice nude brown nude pencil i'm gonna be taking one uh, liquid lipstick and this one is from the sephora collection then shade 22 pink latte this is my favorite nude lipstick and i'm gonna be taking two fun colors one is the colourpop x i love sarai arriba it's a perfect red it's amazing of course it's gonna come with me and i'm gonna also take a little bit more fun color it's more like a fuchsia color it's the morphe liquid lip in the shade homecoming now i have to take a gloss and this one is the dior lip maximizer it's very nice because it's quite hydrating and it's not as mattifying as the liquid lipstick and the last lip product i'm taking this one is is a Laura Mercier cream smooth lip color in the shade Audrey because it's a very nice sheer color which I can put when I don't want to go in with this one for example I only want a little bit of color and I'm good to go this one is very good setting sprays the most important trust me I have two and uh, one of them is the glam glow glow setter spray which i absolutely love of course it's coming with me and the other one is the iconic london setting spray you can put it in your face and your shoulders i was thinking to put it in my legs too to give a very nice shine of course it's coming with me now i want to talk about a few stuff that uh, that are not makeup but they are essentials uh first of all sunscreen 
very very important this is for the face i have another one for my body too but this one is from the body shop skin defense multi protection essence with sps 50 very important and a moisturizer this one is my favorite day moisturizer which has SPF 10, it's very lightweight and it's quite small for traveling, which is also very good. I'm not gonna be showing you the skincare I'm gonna be taking with me because that's another story. You have to take some skincare too. Uh, next, I have um, micellar water. This one is from Garnier, the Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. Uh, this one is the travel size, which I freaking love. This small bottle, it's perfect. I really like mini sizes. And you also need uh, something to clean your brushes because I'm not gonna be washing my brushes. So I have this Cinema Secret Makeup Brush Cleanser. This is an amazing brush cleanser. It smells, it smells quite good, but uh, the thing is that it dries very, very fast. It cleans your brushes very well, so. And this small bottle right here, it comes with a spray which I so much prefer because you can just spray it on your brush and rub it into a towel or something and you're good to go it's amazing it's very easy to use and I actually just ordered a big bottle to refill this one because I really really like it so yeah I'm gonna be taking this one with me and tweezers very important don't forget your tweezers you never know what you need uh, another thing beauty blender I never go anywhere without my beauty blender it's the perfect thing I have the case of it so I'm gonna be putting it in the small um, case that it comes so that it doesn't get dirty in the back. I also take my brushes. I take them in this um, thing right here. This one is from Firma Beauty. It came with a set of 12 brushes. I don't have my brushes in here but it opens like this. It's enough for all of my brushes. Actually I've traveled with this one a lot. The reason why I travel with this is because it opens and I can leave my brushes in this thing. So I have my face brushes in this one and my eye brushes in this one because I hate laying my brushes down when I do my makeup especially in uh, hotels which it can be dirty and yeah you know I don't want to have my brushes laying anywhere so this one is much more easier it takes less place than having all of your brushes laying down so it's perfect it takes a little bit place in the suitcase but I think it's necessary and it's not nothing too crazy next thing I have um, baby wipes uh, the reason why I have baby wipes is actually I have a bigger pack of this. I use it every day because every time I do my makeup, I either get foundation in my hands or like uh, uh, if I put a primer and then I want to clean my hands and I don't want eyeshadow, for example, to transfer all over my face, I use baby wipes because they're not as wet as the face wipes. So I think those are the perfect amount of liquid inside. So not too dry, not too wet and they are cheaper than paste wipes. I really like this one because it comes with a thing like this which is closest and it doesn't let the wipes to dry. It's amazing. I use the bigger size all the time and when I saw that they have a small size I was very happy because I was thinking I can use it when I travel. I don't take face wipes. Uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Currently I don't have some face wipes that I really like. I have ones from Garnier that I actually don't really like so that's why I'm taking the micellar water instead and some cotton pads and if I want to remove my makeup I also have my makeup remover that I take with my skin care stuff so I don't really need wipes and as is for my cotton pads I take them in a box like this this one actually is a nail polish remover wipes it used to have inside the ones that you don't have to use acetone to remove your nail polish and they don't smell which are very good actually but I finished those ones and I washed this one of course very well and now I put my cotton pads inside and I think this way it's perfect for traveling because you can put many inside you can squeeze them inside and they're the perfect size they're not gonna be too big or too small so this one is perfect <sighs> that was a lot yeah that's all i'm gonna be taking with me for makeup and it might seem a lot but what can i say i love my makeup and i like to have a few options when i'm traveling i might not use everything but 
I don't care because yeah I've traveled with much more before so this one is quite alright for me okay so that's all I have I really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and I see you again in my next video just like I said I have a couple of pre-recorded videos that are gonna go up while I'm away so there are gonna be videos up so yes right that's all I have to say see you again next time bye